another new update in Fortnite today and tons of changes you need to know before you play a single game. Plus, some crazy stuff that is coming to Fortnite very soon. Don't miss this. I'm your second favorite PE teacher, Denver. We are staying up all night just to bring you guys these patch notes videos to help you out. So please show us some love and support by hitting like right now and hurry up and subscribe because you guys are missing out on a ton of amazing videos and you can say you are an OG This Denver Guy fan. But let's get right to the new update and all the changes fast. I brought in an expert to fill you guys in, but we are almost to 100 thousand subs guys we can hit that today right now and if we hit that today we're gonna do a v bucks giveaway for you guys just say anything in the comments we're gonna pick one of you guys if we hit a hundred thousand subs today so tap that red button and share this video with a friend and here is simbo to tell you what'll happen while you were sleeping simbo is it looking good is it looking bad what are we getting from epic today epic really didn't hold back on this one guys just wait until you see all of the most important changes in this patch and yes we had to save the best for last awesome well let's not keep them waiting what i'll change in this new update besides ninja just hair color sorry i had to say it go ahead so many changes the first of those being aim assist on pc is now going to feel exactly the same as aim assist on console epic said that this build includes an aim assist change that makes 240 hertz aim assist act like 60 which is exactly what made controller on pc so strong in the first place this change might help solve the controller problem that a lot of pros have been complaining about but at the expense of controller players even Tifu tweeted out saying, why would aim assist get nerfed? Controller players are the only part of the community left, to be honest. Some of you guys think the exact opposite though and agree with Epic on the changes. Epic continued and said, investigations and tests are ongoing regarding aim assist and your feedback is appreciated. Making it sound like this change might not stick around depending on how the community reacts. I don't know you guys, what do you think of this huge change and were pros the reason Epic is finally doing something about aim assist let us know in the comments below next epic is trying out a totally new type of ltm that doesn't include any building or weapons we haven't seen anything like this in fortnite yet which makes it even more exciting they call it party royale and said this is a new experimental and evolving space so leave your weapons and mats behind epic also told us that they are planning on running a test for this on friday at 9 p.m eastern time and that the party is just getting started along with this fortnite leakers found three posters that are a part of the Party Royale LTM that indicate there is going to be in-game events like the Travis Scott and Marshmallow concert inside of this game mode. Leakers also found a map of the island showing that this will be a place for players to just come together and play for some fun and exciting mini games. Either way, it looks like Epic is really trying to find something that will give players a break from cranking 90s and playing Zone Wars scrims all day. So hopefully this LTM lives up to the community's expectations. This next update has pros actually thanking epic for changing the legendary sniper damage from 157 down to 132 and the epic damage down from 150 to 126 this means that the sniper can no longer one shot people that have 150 health unless they get a headshot pros have been complaining about the heavy sniper saying that it's way too op for a long time and it looks like they are finally getting everything they want in this patch one thing Epic didn't change though about the Heavy Sniper was its ability to break through walls with one shot. It's still too early to tell if this is going to help or hurt Fortnite, especially with all of the casual players being left to wonder why Epic would make such a huge nerf to an essential item. Seriously, let us know what you guys think of the changes to the Heavy Sniper down below. Jumping into some of the map changes, we see Risky Reels is now a named point of interest in Chapter 2. No one was really sure why it was left out as a POI in the first place, but as you can see from this picture here, players are excited that Risky Reels is back on the map at least officially that is. So here's to hoping Epic doesn't give us another search seven chests at risky reels challenge because that would give me and so many other players some seriously bad flashbacks to one of the worst challenges in Fortnite chapter one history. This update also brought some new season 13 teasers and I know it's so exciting but we'll get to those in a second I promise. Epic is also adding another LTM in this patch called Operation Payload and they say it's a new spy mode where you use current spy tech and new spy tech to defend or escort the payload against the other team as they try to stop you and then you'll switch sides the mode takes you to a different part of the island each time and really this seems like it could be a ton of fun and we're just gonna have to try it out and see epic has really been pushing out the spy related content this season and a ton of players are obviously enjoying it i mean come on 
Who doesn't love spy stuff? Speaking of spy stuff though, Fortnite leakers found that there is a challenge in the making about potentially storming the agency and also finding different gold bars in Midas's quarters. Now, let's go over some of the awesome new skin leaks that are going to be added in this patch because these skins are definitely some of the coolest we've seen in a little bit. And I think we're all going to be dropping some V-Bucks on these ones. First, we've got Vix and she has like 32 different variants. Okay, maybe not that many, but from this picture, it definitely looks like a lot. This skin definitely sticks with the spy theme. Let's get into the next skin. We have Envision and she looks like she only has two different variants. I know, so lame, but seriously, that one actually looks pretty sick, and she's even wearing a face mask in the second variant, which I think is pretty cool. The other epic skin we have is Nightlife, and this one is pretty basic, but it does have some pretty cool designs, and it even looks like they copy and pasted a picture of Ninja's hair back from chapter one and put it on this skin, which is pretty awesome. Next, we have Hugo, which is definitely a name fitting for a guy that looks like this. Okay, our next skin is Yellow Jacket, and would you be surprised if I told you that she was wearing a yellow jacket? No, of course not, and I'm actually a little disappointed because I think Epic missed a good opportunity to make the jacket color like blue or something just to mess with us. Next, we have Sig, and I think I'm going to be rocking this one, guys. It's seriously so cool, and another spy style one. Epic is loving those recently. Second to best, though, is Goldie, which is wearing a pretty cool Cool for a coat even though I bet you it is not cold outside at all it's still stylish though and clearly that's all that matters the cheapest one out of all of these though is the wild gunner seriously he is so cool looking and I can't wait to get this one I honestly can't decide though guys which one do you think looks the coolest one last thing before we get into the season three leaks you guys we have the locations that are going to be in the party ltm these locations are super cool and it's going to be awesome to see them in game first we have the stage which is probably where all of the awesome in-game events like concerts or magic shows are going to happen or maybe this will be an official spot for fortnite fashion shows which would be so Awesome. Next, we have the race center, and even though the picture isn't super high resolution, we can imagine that this will involve some buggies or even some boat racing, and it would be even cooler if Epic added some go-karts or maybe some motorcycles to ride on around on like a racetrack or something but we'll just have to wait and see. Next, we have the arcade, and guys, this one's actually pretty cool. We already have some leaks of some of the mini games that you'll be able to play in this arcade. Here is a picture of some of the leaked sprites. It's actually a little bit terrifying seeing a banana devour Deadpool like that, but I'm sure he can handle it. Guys, next we have the locker station, and I really have no clue as to what this could be. Maybe it's a place you can go to change your skin while you're in the LTM, so you don't have to go back to the lobby to change skins. I'm not entirely sure, which, by the way, is another possibility change that they're making to the phone booths but we'll get into that in a minute the next location is labeled pi square and it's probably going to be the center of the map kind of like a spawn point and then we just have some random boat docks a pirate ship and one called retail where you can just barely make out a taco and a slurp. Now, let's get into the season three leaks. You guys, there is a lot to cover here, especially with Epic giving us these three teaser posters, so let's get right into it. The Fortnite season two map, as you all know, has been teased about getting flooded ever since people saw that there was a dam on the map, except this time it might actually happen. Let me explain. So Epic had to update their engine to make the Travis Scott event possible. And what were some of the new things we saw at that concert? One of the big ones was swimming underwater. And if you look at these teaser images here, we can see every single one has something to do with water, like the one showing a house floating on a life preserver. I know, pretty crazy. And then if you look in the bottom left of all three of these, we can see the victory umbrella is on fire, just like how we saw fire in the Travis Scott concert. So pay attention. All three of these images are teaser for the next season's battle pass and what the next season's theme is going to be. Fortnite theorists are almost certain that the next season is going to have Aquaman as the tier 100 battle pass. Now that's just speculation. It's not confirmed in any leaks or anything, but they are pretty sure and it would be just like the season to Deadpool. I don't think it comes as a surprise to any of us that Epic is going to finally 
flood the map and it's going to be really interesting to see how that mechanic plays out now of course these are all just leaks and epic can always just be tricking us like they've done in the past so really it's all still up in the air what do you guys think is going to happen for the fortnite season 3 map are we finally going to flood the entire map or maybe it is just going to catch on fire i don't know guys let us know in the comments also don't forget if we hit a hundred thousand subscribers today we are going to be doing a v buck giveaway so make sure you leave a comment down below i hope you guys enjoyed this new update don't forget to like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one